Hey, Andrew from Mazito. I'm here today to give you some quick tips on how to set up and use your wet and dry vacuum cleaner. When you first open your vacuum cleaner, it's already set up for picking up dust and debris with the blue dust filter. Now let me show you how to set it up for picking up wet material or water. Start by removing the blue dust filter. Once you've removed the blue filter, you'll need to put on the foam filter which stops the water splashes from reaching the motor and increases the suction for picking up water or wet materials. Now that we have the foam filter on, it's just put it back into the drum, lock it off, and we're good to go to suck up water and wet debris. Now of course to change it back to the dust vacuum, we'll need to reinstall the blue filter. While the foam filter is off, you can easily give this a rinse and squeeze all the water out of it and then let it dry in preparation for the next time you need it. Now let's talk about dust bags. You can of course use the vacuum without a bag, however if the material you're picking up is really fine dust and debris, it's better to use a dust bag because it's easier to empty the drum and it stops all that fine dust getting into your motor. Dust bags are pretty simple to fit, you just have to match the hole in the bag with the intake port on the drum. Slide it on, then lock down the piece of cardboard on the top. Then just put the motor in and lock it down, connect up all your hoses and you're good to go to vacuum up that dry dust and debris with it all ending up inside the dust bag. And now for the dad joke, this vacuum cleaner really sucks. In a good way, of course. Another quick tip, the extension cord connected to your vacuum cleaner is always best if you unwind and fully stretch it out before using it. And while doing that, you can also check that there is no accidental nicks, damage or breaks in the cord before you plug it in. Now let's have a good look at the key safety feature, which is when the vacuum cleaner is accidentally tipped over, the float valve will block the suction. And this is the same noise you'll hear if you had a blockage in your pipes. After your vacuum cleaner has tipped over, you'll need to turn it off and wait until the vacuum cleaner fully stops and then turn it back on and you'll hear it disengage. And if you do this and you still don't have suction, then it's every chance you have a blockage in your hose or your extension pipes. After you've done some vacuuming, you'll need to clean the dust and debris from your blue filter. The way to do this is just simply remove the vacuum cleaner motor and filter, then dust it off with a dry brush into a bin or back into the barrel and then empty the barrel. If you're vacuuming up fine dust, you may need to clean the blue filter more regularly as this may cause a drop in suction. One of the great things about this vacuum cleaner is everything can be stored on board or inside the machine when you are finished doing your vacuuming. While you're here, why not check out some of our other great DIY videos See you next time.